take my cares away. But the river is wide, and it's too hard to grow. In the ancient world, rivers were essential to the development of what we would call modern cities today. Without them, societies and civilizations would have had no hope of thriving. In addition to creating large-scale civilizations, people in the ancient world were completely reliant on rivers for their survival. Wow, we get some really dirty clothes here. Yeah, my husband likes to roll around the dirt. No matter how old men get, they still act like little kids. True that, sister! Hey family, I got water. Water makes me smile. Water helps my body survive, just like social studies. Thanks, honey. This is the best present you can ever get me. Yeah, yeah, we're Sumerians and you stink. <laughs> yeah, you smell too. We're Hittites. That doesn't even make any sense. Stink and smell are the same thing. <laughs> I know what you are, but what am I? You think you're so tough with the river between us? Oh, man, it sure is slow today. Fish ain't playing. Oh, this is taking a while. It's okay, though. You'll buy it sometime. In many cases, rivers could become destructive in the ancient world. Ouch. In some societies, rivers were even used as a form of punishment. Woman, you've been belittling your husband. What have you have to say for yourself? He's lazy, he does nothing, and he's horrible. Oi, that ain't right. I've done everything for you, mate. Seriously, you don't like, you don't have to do this. Guards down the river. <laughs> no! 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 In the ancient world, controlling water was a matter of life and death. In Egypt, there were only three seasons. The Akat, when the levels of the rivers rose, Peret, when their waters receded so people could farm, and Shamu, when farmers harvested their crops. In India, people relied desperately on the water that was brought in winter and summer monsoons. While so little of China was arable that people had to live right near a river. In modern societies, water is so accessible that many take it for granted. Aren't you going to finish that? It's a modern world. There's plenty more where that came from. What's that? Water. <laughs> Even if there is a major storm, it is generally more of an interesting anomaly than it is a life or death situation in our world today. Although it's obvious many ancient cultures were successful, I mean, we're studying them, aren't we? Figuring out which one was the most successful is not as clear. Each river valley civilization had its own claim to fame. Here's a brief summary. Let's take Colin, for instance. He's curled up next to a cozy social studies book on a blustery December afternoon. Thanks to Mesopotamia and the discovery of the number 60, however, Colin can look at his watch to know when it's time to go to a social studies club meeting. Thanks, Mesopo. <laughs> Too bad for Bella from ancient India. She's so engrossed in her book on the Romanov family that she never make it, makes it to the social studies meeting. Wait, what? Not to be outdone, however, Josh beats the winter chill by using the number zero that ancient India discovered to conduct scientific experiments. Josh is able to use the metric system because he discovered the power of the number zero. These experiments help solve the mystery of social studies. Why is it so enchanting? Luke, however, from Mesopotamia, is lost without the zero. He's fumbling and bumbling. Too bad, Mesopotamia. Hold on, hold on. This is ridiculous. Egypt's mathematical number is way better than zero. Um, those signs weren't ours. Yeah, we, they belong to Mr. Vogue. We're supposed to return them after the video. Egypt's way better. We spent 30 to 40 years on one pyramid. Well, maybe if you had locked the power of the number 60, then you could have got, gotten to work on time. Yeah, maybe then it wouldn't have taken you decades to finish the pyramids.
think your camo Humphrey is dead. Uh, I, I think it's just old. No, I mean there's flies all over. I wish there was a way to keep him around longer. <sighs> I messed up. Now I have to start over. My hands are already. There's gotta be a better way. Do you constantly struggle trying to write on clay tablets? Are you embarrassed by your use of clay in social situations? Hey, can I call you sometime? Here, sure, here, and he'll give you my number. Here, can you write it on this clay, please? Clay, what are you, from Mesopotamia? I think I'm going to be busy for a while. Oh, man. Then the solution to all your problems is here. Egyptian papyrus. Take notes in your beloved social studies class efficiently. Remember important birthdays. Increase your friends list on Facebook. Your true friend. Your true friend. Ancient India set a model for the world to follow in terms of developing very advanced cities. Many modern American cities are modeled after their 90 degree angled streets. This allowed for easy travel so citizens could easily travel to market and exchange goods. Hey, Brianna, nice to see you. Yep, you too, Callie. You're here very early. Well, ever since our city was laid out with right-angled streets, it is easy to get around. That's right, man. High five for right-angled streets. You know what I have, what what I say if it's not a right angle? It's a wrong angle. Actually, I was going to say it's obtuse or acute, but I like that better. Although modern Harappa is not currently considered an advanced city, Remnants of the advancements of that ancient city recently surfaced. Furthermore, many major cities such as Chicago and New York have laid out their cities in a similar right-angled pattern. throughout history. Well, yeah, but you need to give me actual cash in order to receive products. This salt would only help me if I had french fries. <laughs> would, you, would you like some french fries? Well, yeah, but that's not the point. If you studied ancient China, you know that you need to give me actual cash. Yeah, we'll do that again. I or I'll try it again. <laughs> no, not you guys, not you guys. Triangles only, triangles oh, only. Very <laughs> Dink. Yeah, you smell. Oh, I, I totally screwed up. <laughs> Not to be a don. Oh, I screwed up already. Uh, when are you ready? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> so you say, what's that? And then she. What's that? Water. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, can I have your number? Sure. <laughs> okay, take two. You've been letting build a little bit. Ah. Water helps fuel my body, just like social studies. 